Hello everyone, and welcome to Natural Instincts, a brand new adventure in a brand new game that is coming out on Early Access on Steam in a couple weeks now. And some of you guys have been following this tale of the European forest for quite a while, and for some of you, like me, this is going to be a brand new adventure into the lives of several special animals that make up the forest of Europe, the bunny, the boar, the deer, and the wild wolf. This is really fun. I've already played through the tutorial to kind of get an idea of what happens in this world. And it truly feels like you're kind of stepping into a nature documentary and just barely nudging the animals around to try to help them live their best lives. And I'm very excited because the first campaign you and I are going to do together, my friends, is actually going to be the wolves campaign, where a pack of wolves have just lost its leader. We are going to breed a new alpha male and help them survive. So I I have no idea how difficult that is going to be, but this is an extremely mm, more realistic setting for the wild wolves and other wild animals that you see in this like beautiful, beautiful world. And uh, I, I know it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because we're going to have to help the wolves go hunting. And I love these bunnies. Just look at how cute they are. I know we take out bunnies all the time in our wolf quest adventures as the lucky rabbit's feet, but somehow just watching them frolic in the forest under my, like, care? Ah! This is gonna be a little tricky, but I think we can do it so that we can go ahead and support the ecosystem. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. There are four campaigns. Uh, well, I should say there's three campaigns and the free play, I believe. And I'm interested to see what stories each one of them hold. Although the entire oh, forest go. is usually teeming with life, now it seems to have frozen. The alpha male of a pack living in this forest is leaving this world. Wolves, as very social animals, accompany their leader in his last moments. As his last breath fades, the wolves mourn the dead member of the pack. Oh, that's so sad. Oh no, there he goes. Now that the pack well. leader is gone, the wolves need some care before we can find a new alpha male. Wolves live in packs with a strict hierarchy. They are also one of the few species of animals that mourn. They show sorrow, walking with their head and tail lowered. They also refrain from howling together. During grief, each member of the pack mourns the deceased individually. Oh, I didn't know that. For the pack to function again, we have to take care of the wolves and find a new provisional leader. Oh, you Look guys. around and find a wolf worthy of becoming the new leader. Make your choice carefully, remembering that the pack leader should be strong and healthy. Oh man, we have to pick a new leader of the pack already? Like, we just got here and I don't know anything about the old leader. What about all of his kids? All right, so let's go ahead and see who we have. I think that... We have two females, so we're looking for the male leader, and we have two males. Uh, we have one male over here who's vitality, speed, fertility, metabolism, eyesight, awareness, maturity, and health. Uh, apparently is not very high on the health. It's kind of like the genetics in Planet Zoo with this part, where you can sort of look through and see what each of the animals have. I don't know about the perks yet, because I've not seen anything about what happens if we have perks. But with this guy, we have fertile and long living, which I could definitely take. He has very high fertility, um, and and his health also seems empty, but his maturity, I think he's younger. So this is like his older brother or something. And let me think. So he's not nearly as, I don't think his vitality is as high or his speed is as high as this guy. But I mean, he seems, he seems to be pretty good. So we're actually going to name him Pine. It takes much work and effort to rearrange the morning pack. Let's start by making sure that the wolves have access to the most necessary things such as food, water, or layers where they can rest safely. Oh, so we have to help the wolves out while they're mourning. Oh my gosh, that's so sad. Okay, so who's thirsty? This All animal right. is hungry and tired. Thirsty, this thirsty, animal thirsty. Is thirsty and tired. All right, these three are thirsty, so we're going to go ahead and send them off to eat. And then we do have one who's hungry. We need to find like a this wolf animal den. This is hungry and tired. Let's see, where is a good wolf den for them? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a bunny. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's a bunny and a bunny burrow over here. So we know we can go ahead and maybe find some food over there. Uh, oh, there's a lot of bunnies over here. Oh, look, and over here is a spot where we can rest. That's awful close to the roads. We need to be careful because there are roads that potentially have humans driving cars that can actually hurt our wolves. So maybe we'll come over here. Oh, there's so many bunnies in the forest. All right, remember how I said I felt really bad about the hunting of the bunnies? I'm feeling a little differently now. So we're gonna send this guy over to maybe come and yeah, he's coming to do some hunting. There's another bunny burrow over here. So this would be a good side for them to come and relax. Hopefully that guy's doing his hunting all right. How are these three doing? Some of these animals are hungry. All right, well, let's bring everybody like over here. Oh, that guy took down his rabbit. This animal is hungry and tired. All right, but he's going ahead and he's actually eating his rabbit. So this is kind of what you do. You go through and you help guide certain of the animals through the forest and take care of their needs. It kind of reminds me of like if you could really more manipulate and control the animals in Planet Zoo. And it's definitely in a more wild setting. Um, but this we'll have to see. This animal is tired. All right, so is that Pine? No, that's one of our females. That's the younger male. Okay, so this is Pine. He's actually hungry, so I'm going to send him off to go hunt that rabbit. This animal is hungry and tired. And you know what? We can name all of these animals. So we're going to go ahead. This is going to be Rosemary. The older male. This animal is tired. We're going to go ahead and we're going to name him Elk, because why not? Sometimes I like naming them after other animals. And we'll send him off to go sleep. Very unfortunate bunnies, like, coming over here and trying to play around where the wolf den is going to be. Also, I have to say, friends, like, how many bunnies exist in a square mile or a square kilometer of a European forest? Because this is a lot of bunnies. There's a lot of heckin' bunnies around here, and I'm kind of curious just how many there actually are. And then how many are hunted, like, on your average day? Because this is this is a little bit fascinating. All right, but let's find this where all of our wolves is have gone. Tired. This is another one of the females. So we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to name her. We have Rosemary, Pine, and Elk. We're going to go ahead and we're going to name her um, Time. There we go. This animal is tired. All right, she's still kind of hungry. So I'm going to have her go ahead and do a little more hunting. And then we're going to find our other wolves. Rosemary, still kind of hungry. Have her do some more hunting to you. This animal is tired. There you go, Rosemary. And then where's Pine? Let's see. Pine, where are you? Wolf is extremely tired. All right, maybe they're too tired to go hunting. I don't know where Pine has gone. Oh, there he is. Okay, there, there we go. So you can actually set it so that you can like zoom in on them. And then we can just step back. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Is he gonna make the hunt? The bunny might actually be like fast enough, but not this time apparently. All right, so now we have. This animal is very tired. Now we have some very exhausted puppies. So I think we'll go and send time back. Did I just send Pine back too? I did. I just sent everybody back. I'm still figuring out how to control everyone. And they have a little yeah. den over here. I wonder how European wolves den compared to the the gray wolves. Help the wolves survive these In difficult the times and look after them until they go back to normal. Okay, so we just have to look after them for five minutes. <gasps> I feel like a really amazing nature babysitter right now, and I can totally handle watching after them for five minutes. Like, they're all just chilling over here. There you go, guys. You guys just get some rest. You hardly need much. Uh, I might send you out to go. Okay, Rosemary is already ready to do more hunting, so we're going to send her out. Pine, off to go hunt those bunnies. Elk, get more rest, Elk. You're almost there you go. Now he's feeling better. Elk, why don't you go ahead, old man? I just feel like Elk is older. You go get some rest. Time is ready to go. The bunnies. There's just so many bunnies. Now, the rabbits in Europe actually nest inside of big burrows where they will share a burrow with one another, which I think is so fascinating because they'll build these huge, complex underground burrows that I just always find so interesting. 
They're, I mean, they build them together like meerkats! And isn't that just so cool? Meanwhile, how are my wolves doing? Pretty good. Go ahead, finish eating. Yeah, Rosemary is finishing off some more of her lucky rabbit's foot. Yeah, we've got this. Where'd Pine go? Let's see. I need to see if I can find... Let's see. Time. Pine. Where are you, Pine? Oh, there he is. He didn't go very far. All right, I think everybody is good and fed now. So we're going to select all of them, and we're going to send them over to get a drink. <laughs> right next to more bunnies! <laughs> all right, I really feel good, uh, much better, I should say, about all of the bunnies having come over and come out in the world, because I feel, I feel less like we actually... There you go, guys. I feel like we're not depopulating the bunny population here. But I do feel a little bad. Maybe one day I'll play Tunnel Town or something like that to balance it out. Or we can take care of a bunch of bunnies in the new Sims 4 Cottage Living. Oh, I love that idea. Alright. Meanwhile, the wolves are still just mourning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> do you guys want to just, like, hang out with each other? Here, we'll let them, like, hang out by the, the little beach. They're well fed. The timer goes faster if you speed up, which I, I think is a little sneaky, but we're doing fine. Yeah, we just have to keep them alive for a little while. Why don't we go ahead and let them explore? We'll send Time and Pine out. Maybe to do some exploring over here. Because, you know, they're, they're grieving, so maybe they want to spend a little bit of time just exploring. And Elk and Rosemary... Let's see, there's a big river. There's more rabbits to hunt. Uh, maybe we'll send these guys off into the forest just to just to relax for a little while go be wild wolves Kind of just look around Now this game is early access right now It'd be kind of fun like if they wandered off to like do some things on their own uh, And I think normally they would and then you would just kind of check in especially in the free play Your goal is to make sure none of the species go extinct and often I think the species kind of act on their own you also will have different kind of genetics that will start showing up and you can choose which species to breed with one another which i think is pretty cool all right we're about to go ahead and finish with the little speed speed now is the time to put the new leader to the test <gasps> deer. deer hunting seems to be a suitable challenge for him oh boy all right so we need to go have him hunt some deer i suppose but maybe we should see. Can I see which deer is like the weakest? Not yet. I think you're supposed to be able to sometimes, but not just yet. So let's actually select all of the wolves. I think I need to get the whole group together. Um, here we go. So we're going to get the whole pack together because time is going to show up with pine. And they're all going to go ahead and remember what it means to be a pack and what it means to hunt together. All right, Pine, come here. Can I send Pine after? Come on, Pine. Go after the wolf. All right, go after this, or go after the wolf. I mean, go after the deer. It's really weird to have them go off to hunt deer. Time is actually like trying to hunt a deer down herself. Hunt a deer with a pack of wolves. Well, I wanted to get the whole pack in on this. So let's actually slow down for just a second. And yeah, let's get the whole pack over here. And then maybe we'll be able to hunt the deer then. Yeah, we'll, we'll, Pine is going to keep pace. There's time. There's Rosemary. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Here we go. The deer's trying to get away. We're not going to let him. Oh, here they go. All right, fine, get them. Can you guys, like, help out? Rosemary, help out. Oh, wait, no, Pine just took him down on his own. Okay, I didn't expect that, gotta be honest. Uh, so hunt a deer with a pack of wolves, okay. Maybe we, we can all just go ahead and feed from the deer? Is that the idea? Or maybe, like, each one of the wolves needs to go ahead and... The animal is not ready for reproduction. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I wasn't planning on having them be ready for reproduction. I was just planning on having their satiety potentially go up. There we go. Now time is getting some food. 
So everybody got to hunt together, but that wasn't quite what I expected when it comes to having the, uh, the wolves hunt together. So maybe I'll figure this out in the next move because I actually am quite curious to see how you would raise an alpha, and I am quite curious to see uh, how the pack might really start being pulled together now that Pine is going to help them remember what it feels like to go ahead and be a wild wolf with the hunt and with life and with everything else still calling them on. So thank you guys so much for joining me as we explore what wild instincts might have to offer, or natural instincts, pardon me. <laughs> I guess those would be kind of wild instincts too. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious as we continue to explore this world. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.